everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I propagate succulents like this little guy who is very much bolted and overgrown. I began by clipping the entire plant back because it's so overgrown. Alternatively, you could just remove individual leaves from healthy plants, but this seemed like the best course of action. Before I removed any of the leaves, I clipped off the top of this plant, which will also take root and become its own individual succulent. To make a clean break when I removed the leaves, I wiggled them back and forth several times and then gave a little twist and they popped right off. This clean break is essential for the plants to root properly. As I removed the leaves, I placed them on a plate with a piece of paper towel folded on top. I allowed them to dry here for a few days before I transfer them to a shallow growing dish. I believe this is why I had a 100% success rate with this plant propagation. After a few weeks under a grow light with daily spritzing, the baby plants have formed little roots and leaves. After a few months in a shallow container, it's time to move the succulents to a pot of their own. I filled up the container with specific succulent soil, which I purchased years ago. Although there are ways of making your own, I have found that this works best for me. As I transferred the first little plant to the container, I removed the dried leaf, which is no longer needed. The baby succulent has not yet rooted in this container, so surrounding it with rocks gives it the support that it needs to grow strong. Instead of just putting one succulent into this pot, I decided to fill it with a whole bunch of the babies as it still makes it easier in this part of the growing process because you can water them all in the same place. I can now water these plants less often, but with more water than just a spritz. These plants are now ready to be gifted, as I am much better at propagating babies than I am at caring for adult succulents.